What's up my friends? It is the fantastic Mr. Gallows, of course. Who do you think it was? And welcome back to another stupendous movie review. So guys, first of all, sorry it's a tad bit dark in here, as I'm sure you can tell even though I've got all my lights on. It's still a bit gloomy in here, and that's because uh, we're having a big snow day right now. My entire skylight is covered with snow, uh, and everything is gray. Or I guess you could say that we have a uh, nice fresh coating of powder on the ground. Oh yeah, guys, if you haven't guessed already, this past weekend I was able to get out and see Cocaine Bear. Yeah, I went out, I paid money for this, I saw it. Hey, you no, know, I wanted to have some fun. You knew exactly what you were getting into with this movie, so let's do it. And that is exactly what this movie is. It is just pure fun. It's just a bear who gets into cocaine and goes crazy, and chaos ensues. You know, and I guess it is actually loosely based on a true story about some black bear who got into some drug dealer's big pile of cocaine. And, uh, of course, the events that take place in this movie didn't actually happen, but I always admire people taking bizarre true stories like that and making creative movies out of it. So I would say that I was fairly intrigued going in to see this movie. However, the problem is this movie is, it's like a sci-fi channel movie, you know? It's on par with something like Sharknado or all those other weird films they have, the octopus Tornado, tortoise, snapping turtle, hurricane, and it's not just that, I mean the movie itself just isn't very well made. And I know, I know guys, you know, it's a cheesy, funny, gory, self-aware movie. It knows what it is, it's just a fun flick, I get that, but the thing is, in order to retain people's interest, you have to have something charming about the movie, something captivating about the movie, whether it be the story or the characters, or just something to kind of keep you interested in the movie. And I dare say, uh, I was a little bit bored with it. The characters aren't interesting, the story is mildly funny, the writing is okay, I guess, you know. But the problem is that the structure of the movie, how it's executed, is too disjointed. And so there's a lot of empty space, and so there's no flow to the movie. It's kind of just a bunch of chaotic scenes strung together. So what ended up happening, for me anyway, is that, you know, the movie just ended up losing my interest, right? Because after a while, it's just a crazy bear running around doing crazy things causing chaos. And it's crazy bear, crazy bear, crazy bear. And then it ends. But, like I said, there is a market for these types of films, right? I mean, a lot of people really do enjoy these. So with that in mind, I have to be fair with how I score it. So, what am I going to give Cocaine Bear for an overall score? Uh, we'll go with a... hi <laughs> Purple Belts. Uh, yeah, you know, I didn't want to give it a really, really horrendous score. That's a decent score, you know. I just didn't like it personally, you know, these aren't the kind of films that I like. I do enjoy them when they are well made, like kind of like a, um, like a Roland Emmerich film, right, something like that. When they're well made, kind of uh, high quality B-movies, I guess you could say. But when there is little effort put into it, uh, that's when you lose my attention. So my friends, that's going to do it for my review of Cocaine Bear. Now comes the best part of the video where I turn it over to all of you. So go ahead and leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the great white void. Did you guys get out and see Cocaine Bear yet? And if so, what did you think about it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What? Leave all your thoughts down below in the great white void. Always look forward to reading through your comments. And can I just say how thankful I personally am for not having my own Cocaine Bear to deal with? Oh, oh, God, it's happening, it's happening.